Hello ladies, I'm Isabel and welcome to my channel. Now today's video is going to be about online dating and how you ladies should be setting up your online profiles for maximum success. Now, I know people much rather meet the guy that they're dating in person, but we have to be realistic. And right now, which is 2022, online dating is alive and thriving. And you just need to learn how to adapt so that when you are online, you can still find the connection that you're looking for and quickly move things offline. Now, that is something that I know how to do very well. Before I got with my partner, I was online dating as well, and I found great success in it only because I did not allow the connection to stay online. And also because I kept my feminine position. Well, what do I mean about that? The thing of it is, when you're online, you and the man are playing on the same playing field. You're not in your submissive mode. You're not in, you know, this receptive come to me type of mode because you both are online. So it's clear that you do want to connect with someone. Now, this is something that is a little off in the dating scene because most women like to lean back and let the man come to them. I mean, that's the best way to do it. So how do you still keep your feminine energy and stay in your feminine position while online and that is what we're going to talk about today now i want you ladies to be very mindful of where you put your profile you don't want to be on dating sites like bumble because that type of site puts you in the masculine it makes you reach out to the man first and that is something i highly highly don't recommend <laughs> because if you put yourself in the masculine and you're reaching out to him first it puts him in the feminine receptive mode and that is a bad way to start the relationship because it's pretty hard to change that dynamic once it's been set and the reason why it's hard because it makes you seem like you're chasing the guy and that is something that we as divine feminine goddess women do not want to do so let's just go through the whole thing because i want you ladies to have the most success with dating online now let's start with the most important part which is your photos your photos matter because men are very visual. They want to see what you look like and what you truly look like. So a lot of men complain that they get catfished by women because the woman may Photoshop her photos or use too many filters or only give you selfies and never show a full body photo. So I want you ladies to really not fall into, you know, over doctoring your photos. So cut back on the filters. Filters only work for, you know, Instagram stories or Snapchat. They don't really work when you're trying to show someone what you look like, because let's be honest, you don't look like that. So make sure that the photos that you're posting don't have filters on it, because we can all see when something has a filter on it. And another thing with Photoshop, you never want to Photoshop your body because this person is going to see you in person and they're going to see that you don't have the body that 
you promote it online. So you wanna stay away from the filters and body modification photoshops. Now, if you want to just get a little clear skin, clean up some blemishes on your face, then yes, you can use a little Photoshop to do that, but very lightly, you don't wanna overdo it. You want your photos to look as natural as possible. Men love to see you smiling and looking like they're going to have a good time with you so make sure your photos are of you just having fun and even if it's a selfie smile in that selfie I know we all want to give that RBF and show some facial structures and that's cool for one photo but you want to make sure you're just giving more fun than RBF so Another thing, you wanna make sure you have at least one full body photo. This is a requirement because if you don't have a full body photo, he is going to really be suspect of you if you're just neck up, neck up, neck up in all your photos. Show the full body, even if you're overweight and you don't really feel so comfortable, if you want to start dating, you're going to have to show him what you look like. So take a full body photo, show him what you're working with, because you don't want it to be a case when you go and you meet for dinner and he's like, oh my God, I got catfish. She's such and such weight and that is just not a good look you want to get the guy who actually wants to date someone who looks like you who is going to embrace and love the body that you're in so don't try to be something else be who you truly are in your photos because that is going to matter in the long run another thing while we're still on the photos in one of your photos, try to get a photo of you doing something. Like, say you like to play tennis. Let's say you have a photo of you on the tennis court. Or if you like golf, then you're on the golf course. Or if you were traveling and you have a nice photo in front of somewhere that people may know. The reason why I say to do this is because that can be a great icebreaker. And men love to have something they can talk to you about and something they can relate to you. So show that bit of your personality helps for the next part that I'm gonna talk about. Another thing I see so many women struggle with and make huge mistakes with is their bio. Now this says bio, but we do not need a bio saying your whole life and what you've been through and your past relationships. That is something you need to keep to yourself. This bio needs to be short, sweet, nothing else. I sometimes, when I was dating online, I would put nothing. Like I honestly never put a bio. I didn't feel the need to say anything. I thought if they needed to know something about me, they would just ask. My photos were engaging enough and that was something for you to ask. There was nothing I was going to share about myself or my dating experience on that bio. Now, I do recommend if you don't want to just leave it blank like I did, you can also just put simple things, little things that you like. Now, some of them that I recommended to other clients was just saying something like sunset is my favorite color, uh, show me rather than tell me. Just these little things that are cute and witty and something that they'll just grab onto and try to have a conversation with you. I cannot tell you how many guys have responded to sunset is my favorite color with I know the place to go for the perfect sunset. And the guy ended up planning a date at a restaurant on the side of a cliff that had the perfect sunset. See, when you set yourself up like that, they want to show you the best sunset. They want to show you rather than tell you. You're telling them little hints of how to treat you and what you like. So that is something that you can use and you can do to really Really grab someone in if you don't want to leave it blank but slay off the politics talk lay off the do's and don'ts lay off 
what you're looking for. Just keep that stuff to your own decision making while you're swiping through the guys. So don't let him know so much or if anything in the bio. Oh, and I did miss something in your photos. You want to look very feminine and elegant and very well put together. So all your photos have your hair done, your makeup, just look like you're ready to go out somewhere. And if you are doing something active, make sure your outfit is really cute because you want him to vision himself being with you in whatever you're doing in those photos and just being with a woman who's as feminine and elegant because when he sees that type of profile he's never going to ask you for a coffee date he's going to know you're the type of woman he has to take to dinner and really have to impress so be mindful that your images really do set the tone and your bio so when you do make a connection and the guy and you match together just like i was saying in the beginning of this video you never want to reach out to him first if he's really interested in you, he will reach out to you first. Now, it's known that men swipe more than women do. They want to connect with more women than men, than women want to connect with men. And that's perfectly okay. But you want them to stand by their word. If they really want to connect with you, they will reach out to you. So I don't care if you're really interested, let him come to you. Now, this is something that I see a lot of ladies fail at because they get so excited they connected with this person and then the person never writes them and then they say well i'm just going to reach out because they connected with me right no that is so wrong men will swipe on everything just to see what he can get and then he will filter through it so don't write to him first ever Please, ladies, don't do it. Because like I said, that puts him in his feminine and you in your masculine. And that dynamic is not good. The first communication is what brings you back to how you guys would originally meet in person. Because like I said, if you're both online, you're on the same playing field. But once you allow him to come to you and write to you, you've now switched it back to how it would have been if you met in person so be receptive to him allow him to come to you so another big thing i want you ladies to be mindful of is the communication you want to make sure you're not giving this guy more than three days of communication now three days is a lot in my book because within three days he should have already tried to set a date to see you if he has not done that in three days then he's just looking for a pen pal and he's just going to talk your ear off you never want to be communicating with a guy who's not trying to make plans to see you it's going to waste your time and he has no worries doing that because these type of guys have a bunch of women that they're pen palling with and they just want the communication they don't want to see you so make sure that once it's past three days and you don't see that he's trying to set up a date let it go block him move on and you never try to set up the date again ladies you want to be in your feminine so don't you go asking hey when do you want to meet up Never do that. Allow him to say it. If he doesn't say it, he doesn't want to do it and let him go. Please, ladies, don't be the thirsty masculine one. Allow yourself to be treated like the feminine goddess you are. To go with that, I want you ladies to never accept last minute dates. These type of guys who reach out to you, say it's that first day or the second day, and he says, hey, you want to meet up today? Like, I'm around right now. Like, what are you doing? Never accept that type of date. This guy thinks that he can have you at his beck and call. And the reality of it is you're a busy woman. There are plenty of guys who want to be with you. What makes him so special that you will drop everything you got going on right now just to be with him? You don't even know him. What grants him such of a pleasure? 
even if you have nothing going on, this is how you need to be thinking of it. He needs to respect your time and plan ahead. And there's nothing that you guys can do together that is going to give him, give you a perfect date. What time would he have to get you flowers? What time would he have to reserve the place that you guys are gonna go and make sure that it's accommodating to you? That last minute planning is only going to lead you to a mediocre date. And that is not how I suggest you do your princess dating. You're ready to go on a date that you're gonna have a good time at. Not a last minute date that he just throws together because he ain't got nothing going on. Make sure you decline every single date that is not planned in advance. Another thing that men will try to do is they will get your number and call you and sit on the phone with you for hours or try to FaceTime you and get on FaceTime for hours. Now, I know ladies love to talk on the phone and say everything about themselves and get on FaceTime, but please restrain yourself and do not do this. If he does get your phone number and he just wants to call you, it should be to set up a date, not to get to know each other better. Remember what I said in princess dating, the date is where you guys get to talk and you get to listen to him. You don't divulge all of your information, where you grew up, who's your siblings, where did you, what grade you got when you graduated from uni. Those type of things, leave it for later on in the relationships when you know he is someone serious in your life because you're going to be repeating the same story over and over for no reason so you want to just chill out if he's going to give you a call make sure it's for a date make sure it's max five minutes and move on if he wants to facetime you because say he's been catfished before and he wants to make sure you are who you say you are five minutes here i am okay what's the date that's how you keep it and you get off the phone by saying okay well i have something to do thanks for the call i can't wait i look forward to seeing you that type of energy is going to make him want more and he's going to see i just can't call this girl i need to set the date up with her and i need to impress her so ladies no phone calls longer than five minutes you know i always say that is a big waste of time and i want to wrap this video with saying you want to move offline as quickly as possible. The reason why I say you want to move offline as quickly as possible is because you want to act like you met in person. So there would be no online communication once it's past a certain point. Once you've already been on the date with him, there's no need to be online with him communicating. He should be trying to see you, like I said, within three days and he would have your phone number by then if you do want him to have your phone number or if he would just be checking in with you and you guys didn't switch numbers but just threw out online then that's fine but once you've met get offline there's no reason for you guys to be connected online I would say just block him and you know talk to him on text messages because why be online now if he stays online you know some guys will tell you can you please get offline i really like you i'm not telling you to do that i'm just saying block him offline just so he knows that's no longer a way for us to communicate we're now in person and once he sees that you're no longer online well because you're he's blocked but once he sees that you're offline then he may think that you actually might like him even if that's not the case, maybe you just blocked him because you don't no longer want to be on a date with him. But this type of in access to you because you don't want to be sharing your social media. You don't want him to see too much of you. You only give him the opportunity to see you when he plans a date with you. And that way you keep your mystique, you keep your secrecy, you keep that energy flowing around you that he wants more because less is more. The less access to you he has, the more he wants it. So that's how you keep your feminine position while dating online. Now, I hope you ladies found these tips and tricks 
very useful and you start using them on your online profile. Now, if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, I left my email down below. So then that way you ladies can work with me for your specific requirements and I can really help you because I've helped hundreds of people, not only women, but men alike in their dating and their professional life. I've been coaching for a very long time and now I want to bring it directly to women. I want to just help women get the lives that they truly deserve and desire. So reach out to me using my email to let me know that you would like to have this one-on-one -on -one coaching. Now, if you like this video and want to see more like it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me and it helps other women as well so they can know these tips and tricks to get the response they want with their dating profile. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you ladies think and maybe your experiences online dating. Also, please subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you. I'm having so much fun making videos like this because this is truly my passion. I love helping women rediscover who they are and what they truly want and desire. I will see you ladies in the next video.